Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today we are going to start on our Twitter clone app. So this should be a pretty simple lesson. We'll just learn how to set up Flutter so that we can uh, actually start programming. So we'll be working on our uh, development environment. Uh, this should be pretty straightforward. We just have to download a few things. And the main goal is just to deploy uh, the default app, boilerplate app that Flutter uh, gives us. So uh, yeah, let's try and do it. If you already have Flutter set up, then feel free to skip this lesson, obviously. But if you don't, then uh, hopefully this should be the, the quickest way possible in order for you to start coding for Flutter. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is to go on to uh, flutter.dev and we are going to click on get started. Uh, right now I'm using Windows uh, and I primarily prefer Linux, but I'm using Windows because most of you are running Windows or better yet, most people run Lin Windows better yet. So I'm going to run this uh, tutorial on Windows, but you have uh, all the OSs that you probably are using uh, in here. So don't worry, uh, the setup process is basically the same. Uh, obviously with some nuances from uh, OS to OS. Okay, so for the Windows uh, install, uh, you have to download this Flutter Windows stable uh, version. Uh, you are free to use Git in order to clone this project, but I'm going to go uh, the easiest route and simply download it. Give it some time, it will take a minute or so in order to download it. Okay, so after it has finished downloading, I'm going to uh, go into my root folder and let, here we go. I'm going to go into my C um, folder and I'm going to create a folder called source or better yet CRC for short. Okay, and I'm going to unzip the content contents of the zip that was given to us in here. So drag and drop it there and it should uh, start extracting. Okay, so after it has done extracting into this folder or uh, whatever folder you want to, uh, depending on the, what OS you are using, uh, we have to update our environmental uh, environment variables in order for uh, Flutter and Android Studio and all of the applications that we'll need to know uh, exactly where Flutter is uh, within your OS. And for that, uh, you want to go into env uh, in here in your search bar and edit the system environment variables. Obviously, this is different from OS to OS. So uh, try to find how you can uh, change your environment variable depending on what OS you are using. For Windows, it is like this. After you click on it, you have to give uh, admin privileges and just add, uh, click on environment variables in here. Then go to path and select edit. Then on edit, I'm going to uh, say um, semicolon. And uh, if you have more than one uh, variable name for path, then this will appear in a list. Don't worry, it is normal. Just add a new one. And after that is done, you are simply going to point to the location of our uh, Flutter um, installation. So in this case, it is C two points backward slash source. Uh, backward slash again, Flutter, and uh, then bin. Bin is a folder that is contained inside Flutter, uh, if you come in here, and this is the one that we must point to. So click OK, and you'll see that it gets added. If you have more than one environment variable, then it will appear like this. Uh, click OK, click OK, and it should be done. So we are going to download and install Android Studio. So uh, download it, give it OK, download Android Studio for Windows. And it will take some time to download, so I'll be right back. So we are going to open up the installation uh, file and give uh, admin permissions. Click Next, 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 Install and give it some time. This one will take uh, a lot of time to install, but yeah. All right, after it has completed uh, running the installation process, click start, uh, finish and uh, start Android Studio because we'll need to install a couple of packages within it. All right, so now we are going to run uh, Flutter Doctor just to see where we are at. And we see that uh, some licenses were not accepted. If we run uh, and, uh, Flutter Doctor uh, hyphen hyphen help, we can see that we actually can uh, install these licenses by running uh, this command, Android licenses. 
So I'm going to copy it and run Flutter Doctor Android licenses, and it will download all of the licenses that are needed in order to continue. Uh, no, or better yet, yes, because you, you must accept them uh, one by one, I believe. Accept, 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 accept them all. And uh, there we go. Now, when we rerun Flutter, Flutter Doctor, hopefully uh, that error has disappeared. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we are uh, we have the Android toolchain uh, enabled, and that part is working. Okay, so now that Android Studio has popped up, we are going to go into plugins, going to go into marketplace, and I'm going to try and search for Flutter. Install it. And it says that this plugin requires Dart plugin to be installed. So yeah, install it as well and give it some time. After that, restart the IDE. And I'm going to ask you to go into configure AVD manager. I'm going to ask you to install, uh, to add a new virtual device because this is what we are going to be running in order to test the Flutter apps that we are going to develop. Obviously, you can deploy it on your own Android device. However, I prefer to use an emulator whenever possible. So just follow up with the steps, install um, the latest release uh, from Android, and uh, there we go. Uh, right now, I already have one installed, so I'm not going to do it, but it is pretty straightforward, and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Okay, so next up, we are going to install Visual Studio Code or VS Code for short, and let's come in here and download for Windows. This is because we are not going to use Android Studio in order to develop the projects. We are going to use VS Code. It is uh, my ID of choice. Uh, it is the one that tends to, to work better and it is gives you the most customization possible. So I always prefer to use VS Code. Okay, so uh, there we go. Next, next, next. Install it. And in the VS Code, we must install a couple of extensions that will make our lives easier. So give it some time. And after it is done, click Finish. Okay, so uh, right now we have uh, release notes and whatnot, uh, things like that. So I'm going to go into the extensions page, which is this one right here. And I'm going to search around for Flutter. Make sure you install uh, this package as it is uh, really awesome as it will allow you to uh, easily deploy the projects for Flutter and run Flutter commands. Also install uh, awesome Flutter uh, snippets which will allow you to uh, more easily write boilerplate code and it is a really awesome package as well. And after this is installed we are going to, uh, and let me close that, we are going to open up a new terminal and we are going to learn, run Flutter Doctor. If we run Flutter Doctor, hopefully everything uh, should appear. Android Studio isn't working with us at the moment, but not to worry, we are going to use VS Code uh, nonetheless. It should be a problem with the installation folder. I'm not quite sure uh, what it is, but it is detecting it, although it isn't, um, it is saying that the plugins are not installed. If you want a more detailed view, you can also run Flutter Doctor uh, iPhone V. And as you can see, uh, everything sh uh, appears to be fine. Uh, the only red lines are the Flutter plugin and the Dart plugin. However, because we are uh, running in VS Code, we have Flutter installed in here, and that's all that matters. So now, in order to start a new project, we are going to type in uh, F1, or better yet, to click on F1, and search for Flutter. Now, we are going to uh, click on New Project, and we are going to give it the name that we want for our project. So Twitter, in this case. Uh, I'm going to place it in Documents, and there we go. It should create it right now, so give it a second uh, for it to do its thing. And there we go. Uh, we have our uh, project folder created. We have the main.dart, which is where the project actually starts. And as you can see, we have our um, main page in here. Now, in order to run it, uh, we can actually do it from within VS Code. Uh, to do that, simply uh, run, uh, click on this arrow, and uh, it automatically detects that we have an emulator installed. So I'm going to run it in it, and there we go. Uh, we have a Flutter installed, uh, and everything is working as it should be, so the app deployed, and we are now ready to start programming.
All right, so that's it. We have our development environment set up. We are ready to finally start writing some code. So in our le next lesson, we'll start working on the op system and things like that. So it should be a fun one. Stick around, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any single video from this series. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao. Thank you.